Hi, listeners. Chatty Chappies. Here we are again. Chatty Chappies. Chatty Chappies. Chatty Chappies. Chatty Chappies. Brian and Andrew. Chatty Chappies. Chappies. Thank you for turning on Chatty Chappies. Andy and Brian are recent friends who are discovering similar interests and just like chatting about all kinds of things from music to vehicles, spirituality to writing, but seldom football. No, never soccer. I mean, never football. Chatter Chappies. You are listening to Andrew and Brian on Chatty Chappies. So, Friday night, and here we are again. Yep. And what glorious weather. Oh, it's just, isn't it, man? Look at that window. And how, look at is, that view. how is the summer going to, well, when is it going to finish? Well, you know something, you look out these, yep. at these trees yep. over behind us here. Yep. There are already autumnal tints on the leaves. I don't know if you've noticed this. I did yesterday with Frances. She thought there was something red hanging from the tree and yeah. it was one of the leaves. Yes, yes. It had gone and red. It's, it's, you know, yeah. I noticed this last year uh, that we are in the last week of July Yep. and for about 10 days mm-hmm. there have been there's browns in the trees across the railway line there behind us. And that's the changing season. And that's the changing yep. season. And it's just, we're, you know, a lot of the people that may listen to us mm-hmm. further south, we're 57 degrees north, almost 58 degrees north. We're further north than Moscow. Yes. And autumn comes early to us. It seems to be coming earlier. Or is that just my perception? Is it just we're more switched on and we're all uh, maybe all to it? Maybe. But uh, you know, when you were younger, you just never. You know, it, it was once yeah. the leaves were all about across the garden, and you had to yeah. sweep them up that you realised it was autumn. I mean, the schools are just going back. Schools are going and back. And we're seeing um, back yet yeah, got another week and a half. Because so, yeah. And just and we, to explain to any people, Scottish schools have their summer holidays earlier than English schools. So Scottish schools finish at the end of June, first week of July, and go back in the middle of August. English schools, it's the end of July and going back in the early September. Yeah, the the old Scottish bank holiday in August was at the beginning of the month. That's right. But the English bank holiday is at the end of the month. So there you go. And it's all to do with degrees then. Well, I think it's to do with, the, it, it, certainly in the north of Scotland, if you're off in June, you've got the long summer night. You've got that wonderful, Yes. it's not dark till after 11 o'clock. Yeah. Um, and it, it's to make the most of it. You know, we're already, yeah. by the end of July, beginning of August, noticing a shortening in the days. If you've seen the live news and it's coming from London, you can see it's darker. Yes. Than when it is yes. when we are here, and yes. of course we're not in Caithness and we're not in Shetland or Orkney, no. where no. The, the the day is even longer. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think it's something like the it's getting darker five minutes earlier is it every yeah. day or something like you that. You lose so about many, fifteen minutes a week. Fifteen minutes a week, yeah. Uh, from midsummer through and likewise in the after the 21st of December yes uh, or rather 25th of December Christmas Day yeah to 25th of January Mm -hmm. Burns night there's an hour extra daylight on the day right here in the north of Scotland there we go so it's it works out roughly 15 minutes um, a week, uh, you know, so an hour each month yeah. through till we get into end of June. Yeah. And then 
Anyway, that's great. Yeah. And it's good to have a chat again, Andrew. Yeah, um, yeah. And here we are. We were talking between ourselves. Yep. And I think we did mention it at the end of our last programme. If you've got a classic car... Okay. And we'll go off into a wee realm of fantasy just now. Okay, let's so do we'll that. we pretend then. that we have a Jaguar E-Type. A Jaguar E-Type, okay. Um, and we want to take the wonderful engine out of it. Right. And put in an electric unit. All right. So this is a Jaguar. Would that be a V6? A V12. V12. Well, well the, 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 um, yeah, there was V6 and then there was right. V12. So V6 has got six cylinders. Six cylinders in a V pattern. So yeah. three each side. And the V12's got? Six each side. Each side, each yeah. side. Yeah. Right. So you're taking that out and the... We're going to then have an electric motor. Like like batteries. the new ones that like we're the seeing, new, like right? The, the, all of the electric cars that are available, um, and we're not going to name them, uh, yeah. but everybody knows what right. okay. ones so are available. Technically, is that going to be easy? No. Well, that whether it's something that you and I can do in the garage right. uh, ourselves, or whether you have to take it somewhere and get expert uh, people to do it, is your car yep. then still a classic car? Right. Now, that's an interesting question. So we've got a classic car, we've taken out the engine, and we've put in a, a battery and dynamo what drive, the, whatever, yeah, it's, whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. Is it still a classic car? Okay, so when we go to our classic car shows yep. that we've been going to for years and yep. everybody's standing around ooing and eyeing at our the wonderful yep. V6, V12 engines that, you know, and listening to the throaty roar and all those things. Yes. You now push a button and there's silence. Oh, right. I wonder, see, the purists will probably be going down the route of it's not the same. Not the same, it's, no, it's not, not the same, same. It's completely yeah. different. And one of the things that will, of course, be completely different is it will have acceleration like it never had. Yeah, the a, I don't know if you've had your hands on uh all electric vehicle yet. No, I've never been in one, not got oh, you need to go and get yourself a test drive of one of the mm. you'll spend the first six months once you get an electric vehicle going around all your mates come on out i want to show you something oh watch this and yeah. off you go off you go but purely silently there won't be the uh, um just a surge just a surge of power there's no yeah, yeah. i've started to think now if if we've taken out i'm saying we uh, but if we're taking out the engine in some ways that feels like the heart and soul of the car well, that again is you know to uh, you know petrol heads you know oh yeah um, you know those of us who and and how does it what what do we do then with say things like well some classic cars wouldn't have heaters but then what do we do about brakes because some would have servos well and... all that goes on to an electric system just an electric system right. but, but hydraulic brakes will still be hydraulic brakes okay it's what when you put your foot on the pedal just now, yeah. the brake pedal, what the the mechanisms that make the hydraulics work uh, have to still be there. Driven by some sort of motor, yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering too about space. If you take the engine out, there's quite a bit of space. Presumably there'll be no gearbox. No gearbox, so, other than a forward backward forward back yeah, yeah. right yeah shift um, to some sort yeah which, which of course is the thing that makes electric vehicles so much the acceleration the initial right uh, so much faster because it's not going one two yeah three four five mm. six yeah. seven eight if you've got a gearbox like mine um okay <laughs> and right. uh yeah I did see the other day uh, on Amazon that there's quite a few of um, publishers with books about converting 
uh, cars, classic cars. Two, two electric. electric yeah. Wow. yeah. I wonder if it's worth maybe even picking up one up and have a look and see what it says. Because if you and I go down the road of having a doer upper, oh wow, of a uh, series two or series three Land Rover, ah, then we have to seriously look at what that sort of thing costs. Yes, yeah, and the you know. Is it something we can do ourselves? Yeah. Or is it something that is beyond us? Yeah. Whereas you and I probably still know our way sufficiently round a four-stroke engine. Yes. Uh, Non-computerised one. (laughs) Non-computerised, totally mechanical engine. Yeah. Then we could do that... But if we're going to go into the age of mm. converting it to electricity to run, you know. Yeah. I'm not aware of anybody who's done that to a Land Rover. There is. Um, oh? th- there was an episode of the current, or the, the just current series of Top Gear. Oh, right. Where they had... Uh, Land Rover Defender. Okay. Uh, the, and the acceleration of the presenter, Paddy McGuinness, was just blown away right. by, as was anybody who was watching the programme. Yeah. That this Land Rover Defender, you know, left the starting block like a Ferrari. Right. Um, now, does that have an impact then on classic cars? If there's all that torque going to the, the subframe, is that going to cause real problems for an Good. older Well, vehicle? there you go. There's an engineering question for you. Yeah. Do you have to then strengthen up things? And yeah. And how do you test to make sure it's got enough strength? And this, of course, is the thing that if you're doing it yourself in the old classic kit car building yeah. school, um, as many guys have done and girls as well, but yeah, it was one thing to build your your kit car from the parts of a Ford Cortina. Yes. Uh, yeah. Or the Jaguar. Yeah. Or the Jaguar. Yeah, uh, they were commonly or used. Ford Sierra or whatever. This mm. is a different kettle of fish altogether because yeah. you're, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if John Leggett would know the answer to this because he's a Land Rover enthusiast, and I wonder if he's done any inquiry into this. So we shout out for John, John Leggett. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I don't know if we're going to get the full answer to to this. No, today. comment in our yeah yeah. Get back to us, please. Yeah, comments please, because it would be good. It's you know anybody what's interested your view yeah. on yeah. classic cars. Does a classic car remain a classic car once you've converted it to electricity? Yeah. Are you... Yeah. Any more shout-outs? Just I'm thinking about... We're well, getting close to the thinking end. a wee bit of congratulations to... Oh, yeah. Our very good friend, uh, Barbara Henderson. Oh, Barbara. Barbara, our author friend. Yeah. And a, her recent winning of two awards... Oh, yes. ...for Young Quills... Historical Association for two of her books um, that she's won. So that's the 2021 yep. Young Quills and now 2022. Well done, Young Barbara. Quills. Well done, Barbara. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah. Round of applause yeah. for Barbara. <laughs> and uh, yeah. That's so, good. That's good. Yeah. Right. Hope they're the first of many, many awards. Yes, here's, right. here's to the next one and the next book. Yeah. Well, look, we're, we're time up, just about time up again. Okay, so there we go. There we go. So we're going to have to shut down again for another programme, and we'll see you all next time. Bye just now, folks. Bye. You were listening to another programme of Chatty Chappies. Mm-hmm.